Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. And in the last one, we defeated once and for all the dastardly Dr. Eggman, who's been a pain in our side for a while. We took out all of our anger on that guy and locked him in his space, man, like it was fucking Smash Brothers or something. And he's probably not gonna be bothering us for a while, because he kinda has his own problems now, you know, getting you know, lost in space and stuff. And probably, you know, can't take time out of his busy day solving his own problems that cause less trouble anymore. So yeah, we're probably not going to hear from him for a while. Anyway, after we did that, we got our hands on the final Crystal Star, finally. And we start to head on our way to the Thousand Year Door once and for all. But before we did that, we came in here one last time to check on our boy Tick. And as it turns out, he was still alive. Just barely, holding on. Just so he can give us his final message. Change the world, my final message. Let's not be memeing about this, all right? This is a serious moment. He stayed alive with an inch of his life just to give us his final message to help out Peach, man. He told us to go someplace called Shadow Palace to find Grotus and Peach. I have no idea where that is, but it'll be helpful, man. Tech, you were the real one, all right? You stayed alive after your programming got deleted. Just out of backup RAM. Just to tell us your final message, man. And now he's gone. He shut off once and for all to give us enough energy to teleport home. He ceased all functions. And now he's gone forever. His artificial intelligence deleted. Let's take a moment of silence for our boy Tech. Alright, not that long. We don't have time. We don't have time anymore, man. This intro's been too long. Sorry, Tech. Alright, here we go. Whoa, alright. Didn't expect the music to turn back on. Right, everything's a little dark and red now. All right, I'm pretty sure you said the exit was on the second floor, if I remember correctly. Turn down the volume; it's a bit too high. Yep, let's head back there. All right, so we need to find a place called Shadow Palace. Ah, uh, still feel bad for Tech, man. That was like Super Paper Mario levels of tragedy right there, man. That's how tragic it was. I didn't expect anything from this game like that. It was like your typical cheesy Super Paper Mario experience. I didn't expect any tragedy and heartbreak and stuff like that. I fuck. I fuck. I was. Preparing myself mentally for Super Paper Mario, not this one. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Tech did not deserve to go out like that, man. He was the real one, all right? As much as I make fun of him for, you know, having want and love and stuff and say he just has robot boners, he was the real one, and he, he deserved better. Don't worry, man. We'll get revenge for sure on the guy who did this to you, all right? For sure this time. On the one solely responsible. All right, here's a teleporter. Just enough energy to get back. Thank you, Tech. You are the real one. We'll do it for you, Tech! Teleportation, and there we go. Back to Rogueport we go. That was a very short ch- oh, oh, wait, what? But we're not on the moon anymore. What the- Tech? Oh, uh, is this the Tech's final message? His final thoughts before his mind's deleted? Beach. Goodbye. No, oh. Oh, uh, no, what- <gasps> Did he su- uh, the, What? Excuse me? Did, I, did he just self-destruct and destroy the entire facility? Excuse me? Tech? What, what was that? Hello? Okay. Well, it was talking- who's, who's talking right now? Is it Cooper? His mouth's not moving. Uh, did anyone just hear something? Uh, nope. No, you're crazy, man. Cooper, you are a pedophile. You come from Pedoburg. I don't need to hear your insanity, the voices you hear in your head, alright? Need some help. See? Mario didn't hear shit. Let me guess, is it isn't going to work now, is it? It doesn't react whatsoever. Apparently, it doesn't work. Oh, so we can't go back. Alright. Did he blow up the facility? Is that what that flash was? Oh my god. Well, Tech is truly dead forever now. We can't go back and, like, repair him or anything. Farewell, old friend. You were the real one, and the source of all my jokes. Goodbye. <laughs> oh god, alright, now what? We're back in Rogueport, so now what? What? Well, if isn't Mario, who's this? Hello? Oh, what What are you doing down here in the fucking black market? Looking for your bl for the black market stuff, your experiments or something, boy? Over here, son. What are you doing here, frankly? Hello? Hi. You brought the crystal star back from the moon with you, didn't you? I did indeed. The final one. Here we go. Yep, now what? What? Talking to my good ear. The Exxon Fortress was on the moon? Oh, yes. So Princess Peach was there too, I assume. Well, she was, but she was no longer there when we got there, so oh well. Um, yeah, but the X-Not boss took her and made it for the Thousand Year Door. Did he? That's not what 
text said. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to speak. It's not like what the text said. It said something about Shadow Palace. Maybe the Shadow Palace is behind the Thousand Year Door? Aha! Just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air and went to the Thousand Year Door. You sure you weren't smelling your own farts? Or the dirty sewers that we're in right now? <laughs> oh, I saw a suspicious fellow with a cape go through the door with Princess Peach. Really now? Um, why didn't you, I don't know, try to stop him or something? I know you're old and all, you probably would've gotten yourself killed, but you could've at least tried, you know? Do something for the greater good. Sacrifice your life for the greater good, frankly. Um, what? Really? I thought the door wouldn't open without the Sipping Crystal Star, though. Uh, that means we probably ran out of time then, di didn't we? Or maybe he did some kind of weird ritual with Peach to unlock the door, because, you know, Peach is using a lot of weird demonic rituals for some reason. Don't know why. Believe me, I know, but I'm quite certain of it. I saw it with my own eyes. So either we ran out of time, the door opened by itself like the legend said it would, or I used Peach in some demonic ritual. Oh well. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. Uh, not right now, because someone in the comments said they want me to do something before that. I don't know why, because it's kind of an urgent moment. But you need to listen to your audience, you know? You can't ignore their requests, that's not how you make viewers. So as much as I don't want to do that right now, I need to listen to my audience, you know? I'll run ahead and meet you there, don't dwaddle, you must come immediately! Uh, you know, what do you mean exactly by immediately? Like, what the exact term is immediately? Do you mean like, at least today? I'll get there today, but not in the, in the next few seconds, but... Yeah, I'll get there! Today, eventually, you know, but yeah, not not right now. All right, so are we already starting the final chapter? Oh wait, uh, email. Can you? So many fucking distractions. I just want to speak, but I'm getting distracted by all kinds of bullshit. What? What is this? Hello? Who's emailing me? The final issue? Oh no! Wait, what? Wait, wait when? What, did I? When did I get this? I didn't read it apparently. <laughs> Oh, it's the ghost toad from the ship who murdered me for reading his diary because he didn't want to see all the porn he watches in it. It is I, the spirit for the Excess Express! I mean, you're wondering how an ethereal being like me can type an email when actually I possess- You possess the train conductor to make an email? That's so rude. You at least ask him first. Don't worry, though. He's doing just fine! Hopefully, man. Getting possessed by, by a ghost must be a bizarre experience. Alright, what, what are you, oh, I, thought, I thought that was it. Like, you just, you just fucking wrote an email to tell me you can write emails. That's just so numb. Then maybe I'll do them my new diary like this. Email committee, you know? Alright, don't accidentally send me your diary, though. Cause you'll kill me. I don't want to die, alright? I don't want to see your porn history, either. You know, anything written in my afterlife is cool. In spiritual sense, I mean. I mean, you already are leaving a record of your afterlife because you're a ghost. <laughs> so good luck with your quest. It's not time for you to come over to my side. Whenever you do, I'll welcome you. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, hopefully that'll never happen. I don't want to see you because you kind of murdered me in an alternate universe just for looking at your diary. No, thank you. All right. Report the Daily Mail, I guess. Is that what it is? I don't remember. Special final issue. All right, why is it the final issue, though? Hello? You can't just end the mail. There can't be a final volume of the mail. That's how mail works. I mean, not mail. News. Whatever. In a shocking series of events today, local authorities report that ZST, age 55, delivered a left hook to the jaw of Gabet Flavio. Oh, so the cr cranky old fucking toad lady punched the corn sailor in the fucking face? That is something I would pay to see, man. I can't believe I missed it. Goddamn all, you fuck a bunch of crazy shit happens when we go to the moon for one day, man. Come on. Our investigations revealed that the cause of the feisty, feisty cups may have been ZST's anger that a shipment of gourmet ingredients spoiled on the dock because Flavio had held up the dock crew with a marathon two-day tale of high seas adventure. So, yep, that sounds like something he would do. Well, Flavio's recovering from temporary memory loss. Oh boy, he doesn't remember who he is anymore. That's great. Zesty has already been approached by Glitz Pit Sound Scout. Oh my god, really? Don Gubati. I think the kid's got spunk. <laughs> She's not a kid. She's like older than you, probably. We'll take the world by storm, said Gubati. All right. Shot reporter go. This week we have an explosive exclusive. Is this done yet? I'm tired of reading this. On the shop in the far outpost of North Winds Marts. It's so cold there that all the merchandise is frozen to the counter. Just kidding. Smiling shop manager. Oh my god, I'm tired of this. I, I don't want to read anymore. Oh my god, so, there's so much stuff. 
There is so- I'm not reading all this. No, sorry, not happening. I don't want to waste any more time doing this shit, man. Come on, fucking Frankly's gonna goddamn murder me. Why am I doing this? I don't need to do this. I need to head back up. Frankly's gonna goddamn murder me. I'm here when the world's about to literally fucking end. It's like, I need to read my email, sorry, Frankly, but, you know, the end of the world can wait until I'm fucking done reading my email, all right? Uh, all right. Wait, uh, this is not... This is not the right way. This is the way to the Thousand Year Door. I want to go back up, because there's something we are going to do first. We're going to go to the Trouble Center and do a quest called Anonymous for some reason. I don't know why we're doing it, but a viewer has said it'd be, be worth my while. I don't know how that is, especially because we need to hurry up because the world is about to fall apart. But, uh, you know, I can take time out of my busy day to help some dickhead with his, pro with his problem. It doesn't matter at all. Totally. All right, here we are at the Trouble Center. Hopefully it's here. All right, I think it's called Anonymous, right? Uh, well, there's nothing like that here. He literally said it was just called Anonymous, right? I can check real fast, I guess. That's kind of a waste of time, though. I'm sorry I'm checking my fucking comments in the middle of an episode, but I want to make sure because I want to do this thing. He asked me to do it, I want to do it. All right, uh, notifications, uh, scroll down, uh... Oh crap, I have to go really far down. Uh, it's been a while since that episode came out. Jesus! Hurry! Um, I'm not seeing it anymore. Hello? I'll cut this out, don't worry. Uh. Oh, bye, Anonymous. <laughs> I'm dumb. Alright, does he mean question mark? Maybe he means question mark. Because there's no one called Anonymous, but there is question mark. Uh, Alright. Probably this one, I guess. All right, elusive badge. Or it's probably something about a badge, I guess. I'm after an elusive badge. Let's explain in person. Meet me on the roof of ST's house in Roeport Square. Oh, you mean like the house outside? I mean the house, I mean, is that the mouse on the roof? This poster is anonymous. This may be dangerous. Wanna take on this trouble? Sure, why not? Uh, excuse me, I'm disgusting. Do it and do it right. All right, don't have to be fucking pushy about it. I'll do it and I'll do it right. Uh, this is not Zesty's house, the mouse guy is on top of, right? He's on top of, uh, Merlin's house, or Fortune Dellen place. I don't know if he lives there. Probably, I didn't see no bed in there, I don't know. Or Zesty's house, that's the cranky old toad bitch over here. <sniffs> bitch tits who got fucking the glitz pit, apparently. Or, uh, how do I get up there, though? Uh, I think there's a way to get up there, I just forgot how. Uh, I'm gonna go up here. I think I have to go through here first. I think I've been, yeah, I think I've been up there before, and there was nothing up there. Oh, the, oh, hey, Luigi, what's up, my bro? You on your adventure too, man? You still on your adventure? What's up, bro? Let's see, adventures. Ah, of course, me. I'm done questing for now. What? You already finished your final quest? You defeat the dastardly, whoever the fuck you were supposed to defeat? I don't even remember because I'm a bad brother. Yep, I scared the Hedgehog Tower the other day and rescued the fair Princess Eclair. That's one adventure I'm never gonna forget. Nope, it was too exciting. All right, what happened after you? You know, you you saved the princess, huh? What what happened after that, Luigi? You don't have to tell me, man. You don't have to tell me. You don't keep things. You know, you know, he doesn't kiss and tell. Luigi's a true bro. He doesn't kiss and tell. You know, it was just bonkers, bro. I want to hear what happened. It's a pretty long story. You know, I I really don't have time to waste. But uh, sure, I'll listen to your your long story about saving a princess while the world's falling apart and ending. God. It sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Every single bit of it, man. I tell you this every single time. Your stories always intrigue me, Luigi, because you are the best. Like I said, it's a really long story, and this part just crazy, but here it goes. Hesong Tower stands atop a jagged, unclimbable cliff beyond the northern sea. The winds whistle down the cliff, howling like banshees singing songs of hate. People say pretty much the scariest place in the world, and I had to go there. You brave, Luigi. You brave as hell. Actually, you're probably shaking in your boots because you're known for getting scared pretty easily, so I don't know. Blocking out the bone chilling house, I somehow managed to reach the tower's door. I was terrified. The thought of Prince Eclair warmed my heart and gave me power. Gave him the boner power! Uh, what is with me and boners, man? I don't know. All my companions felt the same way. They were with me to the bitter end. Yeah, sure they were. The door of the tower swung slowly open to reveal an unconceivable darkness. I tried to call it Princess Eclair's name, but I couldn't even breathe because, as I strained my eyes in the darkness, I saw the most terrifying beast of all. Oh god, who was it? Was it Mama? Mama Mario? I don't know. <laughs> the Chestnut King himself appeared before me. He was monstrous and drooling. How scary could he be? He's fucking called the Chestnut King, man. 
puddles of toxic goo drip from his mouth, melting the very ground at our feet. Sounds like you need to brush his teeth. Brush your teeth, bitch! I couldn't stop shaking, but I grit my teeth and face the evil beast dead on. I dodged the king's fangs, jumped on his chest, and gave him a hammer whack. Alright, cool. My swing split the air and cracked dead center on the chestnut king's skull. Hey, hey, it's kind of graphic, Luigi. This is an E-rated game. You cracked that nigga's skull. Help power me up, bro. I was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the king, and I was loving it. I'm getting that fucking uh, drilling rush, man. Nice. This is it, I thought. I can win this. I'll risk it all on my next blow. Oh, did you do it? Did you win? Did you not die? I mean, you, you didn't die, obviously. Unless the ch chestnut king took over my brother's life. It's an imposter. I don't know. I gripped my hammer tight and waited for the moment to stung me. Shwack! The ocean winds rage against the tower's windows. With the sounds of my call to battle, I advanced with no mercy in my heart. And then... And then... What? What happened? Luigi, you can't keep me in, su in suspense like this. Tell me! Luigi! Damn it! What are you doing? I beat him. I defeat the Chestnut King. Yay! You did it, Luigi! You are the best hero who ever was! Amazing! I'm glad for you, buddy. <laughs> An even worse beast came next, a nightmare thing, but I beat it too. Um, alright. <laughs> How nonchalant. Alright, but there was an even worse one. I kicked his ass too. No, not what it wasn't even a problem. I risked for it to declare, the law was over. Alright, yeah, sure it was. Sure it was over. You rescued her and nothing happened. Sure, Luigi. You were just a bro who doesn't kiss and tell, alright? And then I came back to Roeport and had a light lunch, and that's about it. Uh, what happened to Princess Eclair, though? You guys already broke up? Oh, poor Luigi. Poor Luigi can't hold down a girl for too long. Huh? You think there's more to the story than that? Um, yes, I, I do. 100%. Not all, that's it. That's the whole story of the quest for Princess Eclair. The ends? Let me guess, it was a prince, actually, wasn't it? It was Prince Eclair, and you're embarrassed that you had to save a guy. <laughs> but my adventure won't end here, bro. They'll never end. I'm sure they will, bro. I'm sure they will. At least you'll be in the next game as a playable character. Ain't that nice? Spoilers, don't care. You want to hear what I'm uh, Nope, don't care. All right, let's ask you, because usually the partners tell me call call out Luigi's bullshit. So, what do you have to say, bro? Hey, you, remember me? It me, Bluey. All right, I don't remember you at all. You look like you're baked. Oh, I, oh, I forgot. He got set on fire or something, didn't he? Man, that last battle was hairy. You had no idea. I was burnt to a crisp, but it was actually kind of relief. If you believe that. All right, fucking masochist. All right, you got fucking happy. You got burnt to a crisp. Sure. You want the whole story? You should ask Luigi here. Ha ha ha. All right, he didn't say anything about him lying or anything, but there's definitely something else going on. Hmm. What are you keeping from me, Luigi? I don't know. All right, enough of that. We've been wasting too much time. All right, uh... But the... But the... Excuse me? You? Oh, oh, the, all right. I didn't expect to see you again. Um, hi. <laughs> hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one of the trouble. All right, uh, what trouble do you need help with exactly? Depending on your answer, I might leave, you know? My pretty lucky girl that was strapping fellow like you to take on my trouble. Um, yeah, I, th I think I'm leaving. Big bye. Alright, now I know why they told me they want me to do this, because they want me to see this character one last time, I guess. Let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one of those badge, but I failed every turn. Oh, so you want me, the big old strong Luigi, to help you, huh? The badge is in Hooktail's lair. Of that much, I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you defeat Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that they'll find this badge. One has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though. Can we look for it, okay, sweetie? I'm okay, so I need to use the wind? What does that even mean? I don't know what that means, either. Uh, oh! Pff, obviously, I need to use Flurry's magical blowing skills, obviously. <laughs> Big brain! If all else fails, remember to blow. Because blowing is, like, the most powerful skill you could ever have. It'll get you far in life, you know? <laughs> Uh, I'm, just, I'm always with the dick jokes, always with the sex jokes, always with. I'm. Just, I, need, I need to grow up at one point. All right. One day I'll. Ne I'll need to grow up. But that day is not today. I'll grow up soon, but you're not right now. All right. I have at least you know another good 50 years. Don't have to grow up. All right. I want to grow up at least before I die. But it doesn't have to be right now. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put off growing up for as long as I can. You know. 
All right, let's go to Hooktail's Castle was in the first chapter, all right? Is it like a... No, I, I didn't want to go down there. That's not the place to go. Is there like a shortcut there? Like somewhere over here or something? I don't remember. All right, don't go down the warp pipe this time. It kind of sucks you can't walk down a warp pipe. You just end up warping down there, but it makes sense. I mean, it'd be cool if there was a button to go down a warp pipe instead of having to push down on the joystick. I don't know, be a waste of a button, I guess. I guess you can just use, like, the action button that makes you talk to people go down a warp pipe. That would make sense, right? Oh, my God. I was trying to show an example. Yeah, there's no reason to ever want to jump on a warp pipe, so you just make the jump button go down a warp pipe, right? Yeah, no one's ever going to want to jump on a warp pipe. I mean, what reason would you have to jump on a warp pipe? None. That's what. I don't know. Oh, here we are, back in Pedoburg. All right, avert your eyes. Don't look the pedophiles right in the eyes, man. They might follow you home and try to, I don't know, do stuff. Ah, child, go away. Maybe he's not a real child. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe he's pretending to be a child so he can get with other children. Ah, crafty pedophile. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I don't know. What's wrong with you? You just don't understand my humor, all right? You don't understand my master comedy level humor, all right? There's never a joke that's not fun, not funny enough to tell, you know? Everyone's like, hey, you can't say that, that's not funny. But I say anything can be funny. It's just most people try to say, you can't say this because it's not funny. But come on, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Man. It's just like people like to say, you can't tell this type of joke because this bad, it's a bad thing to happen to people, all right? So what, bad things happen to people? Does it mean that I can't fucking tell jokes like that anymore? No. I'm just an insensitive asshole, so you know, take don't take anything I say for a grain of salt if you want to be an acceptable human being in society and you want friends and stuff, because there is a reason I don't have friends and people don't like me, you know. It's kind of, you know, because I'm a fucking huge dickhead, so, you know, don't take my advice, please. Alright, I still have to do this to save the game, because I'm still afraid of losing all my progress and stuff accidentally loading. Uh, this one. Alright, Hooktail's Castle. Actually, do we already get this badge? I remember we came back here for what for some reason, and I think we blew something. I don't remember though. I don't remember. Oh, I, we came here to get the up arrow, I think, so we could upgrade our party members even further. I think. Yeah, that's what happened. That's why we came here. Is there like a third, like a third upgrade? Because in the first game, you, there were, you could upgrade your party members three times. I don't know. I think you can like upgrade them twice, maybe. Oh, Bone Town! You're back in the Bone Town. It's been a while since we've been here. Uh, there's 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 a room for one more at the very least. Maybe we can find another up arrow. We can upgrade our party party members even more. And we're kind of at the end of the game, so it probably doesn't matter anymore if I had to guess. We need to boot. Well, shit. Never mind. He's dead anyway. He probably has like zero hit points. Probably can kill him one hits. Alright, and yep, they're not even that tough. They're not even a problem. Ah, oh, you guys suck. You're not even a problem. Alright, it's gonna stomp on you. Like the casuals you are. You don't matter. Your lives are... Uh, not important and stuff, you know? Koopa lives don't matter. Anything that gets in my way, life doesn't matter, right? If you get in my way, your life is for it and your life doesn't matter anymore. I really don't need this because it's barely gonna give me anything. Like, oh, but, oh, fuck, god damn, duh. He hit me in the butt. But I countered it, because like I said many times before, I am the counter master and you cannot deny it. Alright, stomp on this loser, stomp on that one, get them out of my face. Nice. I just want to come in here, get that badge, and get out. Maybe they'll let me keep the badge. I mean, what kind of reward can I possibly get for this? Because they said, oh, they said it'd be worth my while, but just seeing the mouse girl is not worth my while, like, at all. Maybe we'll get to keep the badge, or maybe, ooh, maybe she'll become a partner. Because I already had a theory that she'd become a partner at one point. Maybe she's, like, a secret partner that you have to, I don't know, it's very secret and hard to get. Because there's, like, a very, very large lack of partners in this game. I mean, only five? We only have five, right? Yeah, oh, wait, wait, no, I'm wrong. Uh, wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. That's still not a lot, though. You had a lot more in the last game. Seven or eight would be great. I'm pretty sure you got a partner each chapter in the last game. Can't be too sure about that, though. I don't know exactly where I'm heading. I'm just trying to find a uh, shit that I can do. I don't remember there anything being blowing over here. Well, this, wait, what? There's a star piece I missed over there. How the hell is that possible? What? I vaguely remember getting that star. I vaguely remember getting that one. You can't tell me I didn't get that. I mean, I don't know. It was like fucking years ago, man. 
Alright, how did I not get that though? Uh, I'm confused. Or, oh, you have to drop down from here. Wait, what? How do you do that? Is there like a visible floor platform here? I don't know. I don't know how to fall down there then. I guess that was the problem. I don't know exactly where I'm going. I'm just trying to find shit. I don't really need to hit that, so I won't hit it. Uh, where does this go? I'm wait. Whoop. Go out here, then I can go back here. Haha, <laughs> I still remember the solutions to all the puzzles, because I'm big brain. Alright, uh, in here. I'm just, I'm just gonna look, look through every room and see if I can fa Bone guy trying to bone me. Don't bone me, bone daddy. Alright, please, thank you. Uh, what's in here? Oh, the, the, I, for, I keep forgetting how these things work. Uh, does it come down? Oh, I have to wait for it to get done doing its shit for it to come down. Uh, can I hold him in place by doing this? I can. Alright, nice. Uh, where does it even go, though? Is, doesn't this lead to Hooktail's chamber? I don't remember. Can you not fuck me up? Oh, Bone Daddy went and fucked me. Great. I don't need to be boned. And I don't need fireworks explosion exploding in my face either, thank you. Alright, get these losers out of my face. Goodbye, Bone Daddy. Don't know why I'm calling him Daddy. Because I'm weird. And dumb. And stupid. I kind of wanted to find this thing before this episode ended because I'm kind of tired of wasting time. Like, I noticed something about my playthroughs. I spend way too much time doing dumb shit and not progressing the game at all. Like, in my Earthbound playthrough, I just, you know, start to replay Earthbound today. And I got to where I was that, you know, my, my, my original Earthbound playthrough, I took, like, it took me 30 episodes to get where I was and it took me several months of recording sessions to get there. But I got back to where I was in Earthbound, replaying it today, in one day. One day! It took me one entire day to get where I was, which took me an entire, like, few months in a Let's Play. That is absolutely pathetic and I should feel bad, and I do. I really do. I want to stop wasting time and doing dumb shit for no reason. I actually want to get stuff accomplished from now on, you know? Uh, maybe if I go back and hook Tail's room, because I think I already investigated the... Uh, the other place with the up air. I don't think there's anything there I could really do. So maybe Hooktail can help me out with something. That's not- No, that's not what I do! I mean, I did do it, but it's not what I want to do. You know what I meant. Alright, see, I always waste time. I always do dumb shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, man. Alright, uh, oh crap, over this. Alright, I think the only thing over there was a star piece I already got. Can I even- Oh, you can't. Oh, big dumb. Oh, I fucking jumped on that thing and jumped on him immediately. Great! Waste of time. I love wasting time. You know, I could actually edit my videos down so it wouldn't be a waste of time. And most of the problems with uh, the Earthbound playthrough was, was the fact that I was not very good at the button commands. So every time I wanted to talk with someone or check something, I went into the goddamn menu, and there was a button for that the whole time that I don't think I was aware of, maybe I was, or maybe I just didn't use it, and I was aware of it. I don't know, man. And also, the text speed was so fucking slow, and I read every single thing, which just made for a very, very terrible experience, so... Maybe the Earthbound playthrough was just a special exception, because I suck dick at it, I guess, I don't know. Can I go through here? I don't think there's any reason to not go through here, so may as well. Alright, I don't think there's anything over there besides a star piece that's not there anymore. Alright, almost hit the block, but I didn't. Alright, we should be in Hooktail's chamber by now, right? Where the hell am I? I have no idea. I'm completely lost now. Alright, up here. Here we go. And this Paper Mario episode's gotten pretty long. I mean, not episodes, Paper Mario series. I've tried to keep on pace with everyone else's series, but somehow I've, it's gotten longer than everyone else's for some reason. Maybe because I didn't cut out the pit like most people do. Ah, uh, I'm a dickhead. That's probably, no, a big part of the reason. Ooh, uh, I'm a dickhead who knows how to counter, alright? I may be a dickhead, but I'm a dickhead who knows how to fucking counter your butt, alright? Get out of my face. Be gone, thought. Alright, and they are gone, and I got a star point. Whoa, one whole star point, nice. All right, exploding the coins. Thank you for the coinage. All right, I mean, I think this leads to Hooktail's chamber, right? I mean, we didn't really get to investigate that room before because, well, we just killed him and then we immediately got teleported out to, like, the entrance of the town. So, yeah. I don't see anything in there. I don't, I don't know where you are, but you're causing trouble for me and I want to fucking 
I, 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 th oh, I thought I somehow got past him in that tunnel, but nope, he was just stuck around the corner. Or, um, Hooktail, are you still in here, buddy? You still in here, buddy? You better not be still being here. Hello? Hooktail? Um, I've come here to- I've come to blow. And if you get in my way, I will blow you too. Alright? Um, hmm. Oh, shit. What if I have to blow literally every single thing to find this fucking thing? Like, what if it's not- what if it's not, like, clear where it is? Oh, I can't jump on that. This room seems pretty empty, if you ask me. There doesn't seem like to be a lot going on in here. Yep, it's just one giant empty room. Which makes me think that it's not actually as empty as I think it is. There has to be something in here, right? Right? Because they're not gonna keep this empty room, not put a secret in here. Like, at least a star piece or something, right? Come on, there's no way this room's just fucking empty! Come on, there's all kinds of fucking stupid stu stu why? Uh, you, you can't just blow this away. No, please. Hello? I mean, where did Hooktail even fucking go? He's gone. What happened to him? I thought he just went unconscious and shit. Hello? Oh my god, really? There's nothing in this room? Alright, well, wait, maybe... This is a pretty big tower. Pretty girthy tower, so maybe we can find, like, a panel on the floor? Uh, at the least, there's, like, a fucking star piece in here, right? Right? This can't just be this empty room here. I know it's for the boss, but still. If you, if you can come back here, there must be something in here. Come on now, you, you cannot be telling me there's nothing in here. Oh my god, there's nothing fucking in here. We walked all the way up all those stairs for nothing, didn't we? There's nothing up here. You know what, I'll figure out where we're supposed to find the next episode. Wait, oh, wait a minute. Oh, god damn it. Uh, it's just a fucking glitch from the fucking, I don't know, stairs outside, I guess. Ugh. You know what, I'll figure it out in the next episode, even if I have to look it up, and I'll probably will, because I don't feel like fucking wasting time on this bullshit, man. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.